have a lady friend, very precious lady friend, who uh, three years ago I had surgery on my back. And uh, two weeks prior to deciding to have surgery, she would call me and say, ask me, you know, what kind of foods do I like? And I told her I like everything but Brussels sprouts, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> and so she would still call, you know, three days later she'd call again and she'd say, Trina, she said, what, what kind of meats do you like? And I'm like, well, I had everything but dinner. I mean, you know, I'm black like you, what you think, you know? <laughs> and so, um, and she kept doing this, and I said, well, you know what, really, all I really want is some pinto beans. That's all I want. So she called the next day. She, she keep asking me, and I said, baby, all I really want is some pinto beans. I wrote a song about it, and y'all gonna hear me sing. <laughs> and don't y'all be mad when it surpasses Kirk Franklin. Anything Kirk Franklin ever had, tonight we are gonna put pinto beans on the gospel chart, okay? <laughs> It's to the tune of I will trust in the Lord, so I know you know where to come in. Okay, I'm just gonna give you the words. So all you mostly say is pinto beans. Okay, that's all you say, pinto beans. And then somewhere later on you say cornbread. And then later on you say ham bone, okay? You got it? Did y'all see that clip about Reverend Charles? Somebody sent me. 
you by email. Yeah. Do y'all know my pastor and his wife double team me about that? She talking about, girl, you better go get your man. He's a preacher to girl, you better go get your man. I remember he don't have all his teeth. one of them men so I wear wearing house shoes. Hi, baby, how you doing? Y'all ain't got time to be all like that. Uh-uh. And plus, they had to pray for me because they double-teamed me, made me cry. <laughs> had to tell my mom. 